Hello, like she said, my name is Megan Copenhafer. I'm from Iowa County. I'm a member of the Parnell Peppers 4-H Club, and I will talk to you today about State 4-H Conference. All right, first off, I just want to mention that for all of you 4-Hers out there, this is a great experience, and my goal today is to get you excited and uh, pumped about going to State 4-H Conference next summer. All right, first of all, I better ask you a question. Have you ever wanted to go to a camp where you can meet people just like you who have the same goals and ambitions, um, maybe they like the same kind of things you do? Well, this is exactly the camp for you. It takes place up at Iowa State University's campus in Ames, um, and you stay for three days, you get to stay in the dorms and experience the campus, um, and you get to eat their food in the dining halls, um, and you don't even have to be in 4-H to go, which is a cool part because then we can encourage people to join 4-H and learn about what our organization is all about. So that's a cool thing that they allow for people to learn about 4-H by going and hanging out with a bunch of 4-H kids. Um, in these three days, you get two dances, there are three speakers, um, you get fed a banquet, um, you, there are awards that you can get, um, initiation of the state council happens up there, um, and you can start this experience at the end of your 8th grade year and go all the way until the end of your 12th grade year. And now I will talk about it a little more in depth so you can get a better idea. First of all, um, an important thing that you want to have with you is a fan. It's hot. It's the end of June. Um, a lot of people, you know, thought bring a little fan, but you need a big box fan because um, those dorms are not air conditioned and it can be a little roasty in there. Um, Another thing that might seem a little weird up here on my list, the next one, is a prom dress or formal wear. Uh, the second night is a banquet, like I said, and it is a formal event. So you're going to want a classy dress uh, or, for guys, suit, maybe. Maybe you don't want a suit. We didn't see very many guys wearing suits out there. Um, but at least a button-up shirt, a tie, some nice slacks. So that is something that you will need. Uh, the next thing on the list is a water bottle. You're walking around campus, um, you're encouraged to walk everywhere, and it's hot and you want to stay hydrated so that you can enjoy your time there, especially if you're in some of the outdoor sessions. Um, you, the next thing you're going to want is sturdy old shoes for the community service. Um, a lot of the community service that we did was mulching and working outdoors in gardens, pulling weeds, picking up trash, that kind of thing. So you don't want to wear flimsy footwear that could cause you to injure yourself or is going to get dirty and ruined. Um, the rest of the supplies are pretty normal of any trip that you take, so I won't go through those. Um, All right, so unfortunately my pictures aren't loading, but um, we'll just move beyond that. Uh, during day one, um, you listen to your first speaker and you arrive and you move into the dorms um, and you get to uh, hear the first talent exhibitors and um, you get to go to your first sessions. So sessions are a range of classes um, that you can take. And they range anywhere from Zumba to food tasting to CSI crops to animal science roundup to outdoor shooting events. Um, I personally participated in an event where that was all three days. Um, most of the classes are one day. Um, classes and uh, they they uh, 
so you can change what class you're taking every day. Um, uh, sorry. Um, and my event that I was in was a um, community event where we um, learned about how to take things that we were passionate about and turn them into action and um, make things happen in our communities that um, to help make our world a better place. Um, it really went with the theme, Brighten Your World. So that was a cool experience for me. Um, all right, so this was the picture of Stevens Auditorium and this is where a lot of your meetings are. And the reason I have this picture up here is because I wanted to show you um, how big it was. And the amazing thing was that at state convention, we could fill half of that auditorium. And my goal with giving this presentation is to fill that auditorium even more. My personal goal with my county was to get our county the highest in attendance. Um, we brought 33 and we were actually third in attendance this year, which is good for a small county like Iowa County. And I said, let's make it 60, you know, let's bring as many people as we can and really let them experience this awesome event. All right, we have pictures then. Um, this is back to day one again for some reason, so I'll skip forward a little bit. Um, all right, at the night time of day one, we have a picnic, and you get to meet new people and play games, um, and you meet a different group of people than you met at your session. So it's a good way to just spread out and meet a lot more different people. Um, we played some games with balloons, and it was just a short little deal. Um, and then afterwards was a dance, and I got to hang out with some people that I had met during my session during the day. These are two girls that I met, and we actually became pretty good friends over the three days. You wouldn't think three days would be enough time to have make friends, but it actually was pretty adequate. Um, so then you go to this dance, and you like party, and then you have to wake up the next morning and get ready to go again. So the first thing you do the next morning is your community service. We went to a church and we helped them mulch their flower beds and we picked up trash in the, um, uh, in the driveway and um, helped them plant some things, pull weeds. And uh, we went all over the city of Ames with our community service project. So that was cool to impact a city like that. Um, I don't know how many places we covered because there were so many groups, but um, there was a lot. Uh, we were able to spread out a lot and get a lot done. All right, so this is a picture of one of the keynote speakers that we had on day two. Um, all of the keynote speakers are very energetic and they have a good message. And the thing that I thought was really cool about them was that they tied in 4-H to their talks. Um, you wouldn't think that they would be able to do that. A lot of them didn't have 4-H background necessarily, but they were able to talk to some of the um, state conference people and learn a little bit about our organization and then tie it in um, and use our theme, Brighten Your World, in their speeches, which I thought was awesome. All right. So after you hear your speaker again, you hear a couple more talent people, um, you go back to your sessions. Like I said, they could be different, they could be the same. Um, and you continue with that. All right, so after all that, you go back to your dorm room that you're staying in for the three days, and you get ready for the banquet. Um, this banquet, like I said, is a pretty formal event. These are a picture, this is a picture of a couple of my friends that came with me from Iowa County. And this girl right here is actually on state council this year. Um, so that's pretty exciting to watch her get initiated. And after the banquet, um, you have your dance. Um, and it's in Hilton Coliseum. And Hilton Coliseum is a pretty big place if you've been out there, you know. Um, and we filled the basketball court pretty much all the way full, if not three quarters. Um, so that was a cool experience. Um, so that night, actually, the dance lasts even later, so then you're really tired by the third day, but it's like already over. Um, so it feels really short, but in this time, you've made a whole bunch of new friends. 
on day three, uh, you go to your session in the morning, and then you go to your, um, uh, you hear more speakers in the afternoon, and you have closing ceremonies, and that's actually where the initiation of state council happens, and um, that's where you get to say goodbye to all of your friends that you've met in this awesome three-day period, and um, you get excited about next year already, so then you pack up the bus and head home. And if you would like more information on State 4-H Conference next year, of course my website isn't showing up, but I can tell you how to get there. If you go to Google and you just type in the um, Iowa State Extension for 4-H and then you go to their search box and you type in State 4-H Conference, it'll pop up and you can find all your information there. Um, are there any questions? Yes. Question was, how many times have I attended state conference? This was actually my first year, which is why I was really excited to let people know about it. Um, I, my goal is to go back and actually use this as a presentation in my own 4-H club this year and encourage the younger kids to get started going so they can get as much out of that opportunity as they can. Um, because it is such a great experience and I wish that I had gone more than just last year and then I get to go this year because I'm a senior. Yes? Uh, question was, can juniors go? Um, the only age regulation that I saw was you have to finish your eighth grade year. So it's only seniors, it should be. Uh, that senior for each member is not senior senior school. Yes. Uh, question was, what was my favorite part? And um, I do love dancing, so those are probably my favorite parts, but my session was also really cool. Um, the session that I took was actually uh, under the IS3 grant, which is Safe and Supportive Schools. And uh, our school did not get that grant, but a lot of kids from other counties that were in that class with me got that grant from their school. And what that grant is, is um, they get money to go back to their communities and enlist programs that are gonna promote um, sort of good values in their community, um, if it's a bad town, you know, uh, if they need help getting, uh, repairing the building, um, that's what that does. And so this class was geared towards helping those students step up and be leaders in their communities and help initiate um, those types of projects. Yes? Um, question was, since this is my first year, how did I decide that I wanted to go? And the answer to that is, um, I have actually the friends that were in the picture of, from the banquet up there have been talking about it for a long time. They're like, you should go, you should go. Uh, but I had been busy up until this year and I decided, you know, I'll just take a chance and try it and I really ended up enjoying it. So I encourage all of you to um, try it next year. Any more questions? Thank you. That concludes my presentation.